Hello everybody. Uh, to get started, you need to go to this website right here, education.ti.inspire or slash student-cas. That's going to get you to right over here. And what you want to do is if you have a Mac, you're going to download that. And if you have Windows, you're going to download that. Uh, this version is 3.2.0.1219. When it gets into your computer, it's going to look like this. That's the update file. Next, you're not going to do anything with it, you're just going to leave it there. Uh, next, what you want to do is you want to go to education.ti.com forward slash go forward slash software. That's going to bring you here where you're going to select your uh, calculator and then handheld operating system. You're going to click find. That will bring you here where you can select your calculator. I have a CXCAS. I, I can click here. If I'm not absolutely sure, you can click on the picture. Uh, if you click on the picture, that will bring you here. Where the first thing under download item will be the one you clicked on that's correct for your calculator. Okay, once those items get into your machine, the first thing you downloaded is this. You're going to leave that for now. And you're going to go where you uh, downloaded your second item which is going to be the executable um, you're going to uh, double click on that and that's going to install the software onto your computer for this to work once that's installed um, you may need your purchase code or you know they're going to uh, try to verify that you purchased it or have the right to use the software uh, if you bought the calculator it should have come with a uh, a code in the booklet or a pamphlet somewhere. Mine did, so I'm assuming yours did too. Once the uh, software is installed, it will look like this, which will s uh, simulate your your calculator. It'll actually look like this to start, probably. Um, you have to have your calculator plugged into your computer with the USB cord. Um, there should have one that came with it. I believe it's a USB to USB mini. Now once this is installed this is not actually your calculator you're seeing. seeing. This is an image of your calculator that simulates or looks like your calculator uh, but this is actually your computer you're seeing, not your calculator. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to tools Installed handheld OS. I'm going to click on that. And this is where that first file you downloaded comes in handy. You want to find where you put it. There it is. It's a .tcc. You're going to click on that and then click install OS. That's going to start installing it. It'll install in your computer at first. It'll do its thing, run its course. It might ask you for the, for the little code. Plug that in and you continue. Uh, then your calculator screen will register that you know the install is happening. Uh, you may have to click OK on your uh, calculator to get the install to continue. And once that's done, you can click on us. Well, you can click on the status button. Let me see. On the calculator, you go to settings, which is number five and click number four status and that will show you um, your current version which should be 3.2.0.1219 uh, like you saw before now you're done dealing with the uh, upgrade now for the picture to get the picture into your calculator you have to start with uh, your computer you're going to Start here, you click uh, 
new document because if you don't let me see here if you don't click new document first these things will be grayed out see how image is grayed out right now you can't click on it nothing happens and if before you click on um, new document everything's grayed out the whole list is just grayed out you can't get to anything so uh, new document will be unsaved of course to start um, now what you want to do is you want to type something or actually want to go to you know it has to be a, a note or you know something you can put a picture into so I'm just gonna click six add notes then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type something you can type anything I'm just gonna type unit circle you can see little letters uh, showing up in red as I type not too relevant Okay, I'm going to hit enter just to bring it down to the next line because I want the picture to show up here. Then, now that you have it like that, you can click insert and look, image is now showing up. You click on image. And you find the image that you want to put in. I'm going to choose the unit circle.jpg. It holds a couple other different types. Uh, B, M, P, and P, N, G, but for now I'm using JPEG. Click open. Voila. There it is. Okay. Now that's. Keep in mind, this is not in your, not in your uh, calculator yet. This is still in your computer. All this is happening in your computer. Okay. Now, right clicking and I'm scrolling upwards. If you click on the picture, and you can see my computer is a bit slow. Um, you can resize it by, you know, right uh, by left clicking and you know dragging it, and it'll change to whatever size that you want it to be at. Um, then what you want to do is you want to click save, and now what's this going to do? It's going to save the file in your computer. All right, so I'm just saving it in the same folder. I'm going to call it unit. circle again without the word again um, it's going to save as a that TNS file click save okay it's saving give the speed of this computer once again okay now let's see there it is there was a picture by itself before and now here's the file now just gonna slide this over so we can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back right here. Okay. Now this is once again your computer, not your calculator. It just looks like your calculator because that's what it's designed to look like. To get to your calculator, you want to click over here, Content Explorer. And it's going to say connected handhelds. There's mine right there. But uh, to get it started, I'm going to double click here. And now my calculator lights up. You know, responded to that. These are the folders in my calculator. This is actually my calculator right here. I'm going to click here. That's where some mathematics I put are in there. And as you can see, there's nothing in here yet. Besides, well, the unit circle is not in here yet. There's no pictures. You can see the files are kind of small. Okay. All you have to do to get it in there, it's not too hard. You uh, click and you drag. And there it goes. It's going in, going in, going in. It's in there. All right. Now my calculator screen is saying folder, calculus, document, unit, circle, TNS. It's asking me to click OK. I click OK and the file now appears in my calculator and how do you know it's in my calculator I can see it on my calculator screen but you can't but what you can see is right here it just appeared this is the exact same way it looks in my calculator it's now in my calculator and there's the size pretty big because of the picture and that's how you get a picture into your uh, calculator I hope this video has helped